PDAC 2025. It wouldn't be a PDAC 2025 without my man, Terry Lynch, Power Nickel, that was Power Metallic, Terry, the bell of the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Two years in a wow. row, man. Yeah. 2024, now 2025, a hell of a ride. We've been on that ride. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Terry, we got to talk about A, you were Power Nickel and now you're Poly Metallic. Sorry, Power, Power Metallic. But it's always been about polymetallics. Talk to us about why the name change, which is more reflective of the deposit you got. hundred uh, percent. So, you know, I mean, bottom line, uh, it's a polymetallic deposit. If, you know, it's an orthomagmatic one. They come every like 18, 20 years <laughs> and they come giant or super giant. So uh, here we are, you know, so that, so it just made sense. I mean, obviously nickel has unfortunately a, a bad connotation uh, North American nickel, there's a different animal to it, but but there's it's too hard to explain. Uh, so it just made sense for us to rebrand, you know. So uh, here we are, our metallic. Yeah. And so, talking about polymetallics, value, and we've talked about it in the past. In fact, it was at Beaver Cream, and yeah, it, yeah. It, it, was, it was it was it was a conversation like this probably a hundred percent will go. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right yeah, yeah, for yeah. the chip, right? Oh yeah, but like, you yeah. know, like you educated us on the the value of polymetallics and the value of it. And so like, I, I just want to remind everyone why like the most valuable mines in the world of polymetallics. And until we talked, I didn't, you know, I always, you know, when I always thought about like, what was the high value? I always thought it would be like copper or something, you know, gold, gold or something. Or something. Yeah. Right, but I, I didn't Uranium, appreciate- Uranium, diamonds. Yeah, I didn't, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I didn't yeah, appreciate so, so, the polymetallic side. Yeah, but, yes. But, but we talked to us about the value of polymetallics. Yeah, so, so the, uh, the polymetallics, especially the high grade systems like the orthomagnetic deposits that we've got, they, they, the reason why they're so attractive is they're multiple metal. Yeah. So they have multiple streams. So, so if nickel is down, like it's down right now, a copper is up and gold is up, and you know, so so what happens in, in our deposit will probably have maybe eleven paying metal. You know, Norils has fifteen. You know, that's the granddaddy of all the, and it's like, you know, people forget it's a a trillion five in the ground. Something like that. Either Tril for so a tree, a tree and four, a trillion, like trillion four. value. Yeah, like that's so, on and, another and, scale. And, yeah, and so get guess this, because well, I found this one only maybe I don't know six eight weeks ago. Ninety percent of it is in one square kilometer. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So think about how easy it is to miss a square kilometer. <laughs> And they missed a trillion dollars, right? You're kidding. Yeah. So, so I, I see, that I, that's a tidbit that you didn't share with no, last I time. Did, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's like, so we, we've got Norel Strength, but ours is over 20 meters. They have like a kilometer. You know, so it's like, okay, maybe we're spread out. We're all big. You know, so it's like, it's so, crazy, but so, that's why. So, so hang on there. So that, you know, so that, so, and you talked about this in the past. Yeah, yeah. That these kind of deposits, tend to be open at depth and like so, so maybe like obviously so, you know I, i'm kind of superseding here yeah, right yeah. you know it, it's it's been incredible and this um you, like it, like the discovery has just been open yeah but talk about the most recent you know evolution okay. of this Six. this is the reason the share price is up so much right 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 so so obviously the history was we had a nice gold nickel deposit yeah. and then we stepped out uh, I mean, the origin story is quite funny. I don't yeah. know if you know it. So, so uh, we were drilling 400 meter holes, and we had drilled several. We were expanding the, the the nickel deposit. We had 200 meters left in the drill budget. So the guy said to me, "Do you want to do another hole at NISC?" And I'm like, I, "I'm at this point, I'm doing the financing. My, my friends and I are are the financiers, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Like it or not, right?" So I said, "No, no, I'm gonna." Because we were always doing the two for ones, right? So we were saying, no, no, I'm going to do the finances. So I said, so what do we have for 200 meters? And they said, well, we got this thing up in the northeast. Looks like another oat crop of nickel. Yeah. So why don't we drill that? I'm saying, great, let's drill that. We drill it. Boom. The lion's up. Amazing. And it's like, and you know, it's funny. I, I, I was in uh, London three weeks ago, four weeks ago on this tour I was on, you know, free the financing. And I, I, I texted uh, Robert Freeman. I said, hey. I'm in London. Is there anybody I should go and see here? He said, well, you should go and see Ivano. You know, go see our technical guys. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, okay, cool. So he set me up. I went over there. And so, I, you know, we're going through the pitch. And I, I tell them this story. And they said, wow, that's crazy. You know, Oyotobo 
their big discovery? They were firing people in Vancouver. They discovered it on their last hole. Jeez. I had no idea. Right. So I'm like, there's a lot of those stories <laughs> in mining, right? right. So it's like, right. and that's why mining is so is so prolific. Like it's it's such a like. There's a lot of romance in mining, there, right? You're right. Yeah. Like, so like, so, like so, oil and gas doesn't have the same romance no, at no, all. Oh, no, no. no. I can tell you stories. Some of them I can't tell about the stream, but. <laughs> <laughs> But, but power nickel after dark. Power yeah, yeah, after yeah, we de dark. We definitely have to after dark one. <laughs> so, but but yeah, no. So so obviously, you know, with that, uh, and the other key thing about the polymetallics is technology can really help you. So I mean, gold. Honestly, I mean, obviously, there's great science to gold, but it's a lot of brute force, a lot of drilling, you know, and 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 so it takes a ton of drilling to put it all together. But with uh, polymetallics. And because it's a sulfide, you can use down OEM or bore OEM to give you a flash and let you know if that plate's out there. Yeah, yeah. And so, so we've been, uh, been blessed because we, we don't have any false positives in our area. There's no graphite. <laughs> Knock on wood. You know, it will change. Of course, it always does. But generally, you know, we've been able to, uh, you know, be successful almost more than 50% of our holes, which is unheard of, really. But it's because of the technology, and we've been a. Uh, when you're a small guy, yep. when you're a nano cap, you got to use technology as a friend. You do that in your business, yes, right? Of course. So, so it's like when you're small, you got to be creative, man, because you don't have a. No. You can't throw brute force at it. No. You need to get it done. Right. You know, so, so, so we've used technology aggressively to sort of move us ahead, both the ambient noise, the borehole EM, you know, pulling in the steam barristers of the world, because it's. Great brains and great technology will, will ultimately find the discoveries. And Steve Beresford, which who we're going to talk to in a couple yeah, of weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, you know, that's a huge pull for you guys, right? Yeah, hundred percent. Well, Steve, you know, and, and then Joe Campbell and his team. So we've got like a, a world class uh, discovery team yeah. on a, you know, what is a very small company. Like, right? you know what? We don't even have an off. Right. Because you don't make any money in offices. You make money putting it in the ground and spending it on communication. That's the two things that we spend money on. Amazing. That's it. Yeah. Because you know, <laughs> the rest of it is horseshit. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so Terry, listen, like you've never had a problem raising money. And you know, I, so I always wanted to do this study. And, yeah. and you know, the stream would hate the study, but it's like when, when a company raises money and the share price goes up, you bet on that fucking company. You bet on that company. You do this repetitively. You do this regularly. That's a damn, like, so talk about the recent financing. Who's, you know, your, so, your anchors, talk yeah. about your anchor investors. They're yeah. huge, but they, you know, they continue yeah. to believe in the future. Yeah, you know what we did? We uh, we went to Australia and 40% uh, of the round came from Australia. Really? Yeah. And we could have had. Why is that? I mean, is that like some sort of intel on on politics out there? I, they well, I, I, I think uh, Beresford's super respected there. Oh he's, yeah, he's, of course. Yeah, he's yeah. like a god down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so there's that. Yeah. And then we had uh, we had uh, Gina Reinhardt got in the deal. I would say so. Right. She's mm -hmm. and the Faradays and stuff like that. So so we had some really great people. Mm -hmm. And so we thought, you know, uh, we should go down there and see. You know, and, and man, a massive response. And it's like Australians. You know, unfortunately, because of our own capital market issues here, which we talked yeah, about, yeah, safety, yeah, yeah, money, yeah, yeah. stuff like that. Wow, well, they, they 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 they, uh, they don't have the uh, the issues as much as we do. They, so they're so they're you know so they're progressively investing in mining and they're becoming honestly better than us, unfortunately. And it's it's just, but I'm working for my shareholders, so I got to get down there and find those guys yeah, that yeah. will do that. And then we got you know uh, in this round, uh, obviously the Aussies, the Europeans, and the Americans. Other than, you know, Freeland, McEwen, and, and some of my friends that yeah. came in, the Canadian institutions, unfortunately, they don't have a lot of capital. Like our, uh, obviously, uh, B, B, uh, Palace Capital and uh, BT Global, they were the guys that gave us the money to start. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. They were yeah. amazing guys. And they're like, they're, their funds are done fantastic. They're, they're it's super supportive. But that's, they're, they're, they were in their stage to get us from zero to one. You know, we need, in Canada, to get us from one to 10. Yeah, But But that's unfortunately, right. You know the the uh, the capital markets are so bad here that, well, that the mining funds don't have it. You pile on a lot of the issues in that world, right? Yeah. And, 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 and these are these are systematic issues that need to get addressed. They need, they're systematic issues that need to get addressed. Yeah, because we we won't solve our problems until we get them addressed. And, and no one's worked work harder to address those issues. Now, um, the activity 
the the catalyst continued. You got a lot of catalysts ahead. Talk about what's 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 on the line. Yeah. So so basically uh, now uh, we've got uh, seven holes coming back for the fall campaign, including the much-awaited hole 94, which is our step out 700 meters to the uh, east. That looks like it's going to be. We'll call it the Tiger Zone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that looks exciting. Tiger Zone. Yeah, the yeah. One. The new one. Hey. Yeah. And and the and the way to visualize this uh, this mineralized area is you can't call it a deposit unless it's got a 43101. Okay. So it's a mineralized area. <laughs> okay. Is uh, think of the palm of your hand, and each of these fingers is a pipe. So the Lion Zone and the Tiger Zone. These are polymetallic pipes, and they're super high grade. They're like five hundred dollar rock. You drill down, and at the base, this thing was a nickel sulfide. So there'll be a nickel copper sulfide body down there that made this, if it's still there. Yeah. Now there's always a chance they've got to rotate away, whatever. But in the history of time, there's a we have it in our uh, in our presentation. There's like these 25 deposits. On average, for every one ton of copper sulfide, you find five tons of nickel. Right. Goes from between two to seven. So right now we're one to one. We're soon to be one and a half copper to one nickel. So what does that mean? Do your math. We're going to find a full load of nickel sulfide. Hello. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Jerry, uh, the future is bright. It is, man. You know what? And to have our peanut party, which is bumping. This is bumping. Yeah. This party's bumping, anchored by the bell of the ball. Hey, buddy. Terry Lynch. Awesome. Man, thank you. Thank you so much. Terry Lynch, Power Metallic, previously known as Power Nickel. But it's a polymetallic home story. Thank you so much.